beautiful people. It's Wonderful Wednesday. I'm April Roll, your ER doctor online and a member of Rodox. It's the first Wednesday of the month, October 2020. So today is what you've been waiting for, my garden update for the month of October. As I said, every first Wednesday of the month, I'll be giving you an update and a lot has changed in the garden, so I'd like to show you. So here we are in my backyard. I'm going to start in the corner over here as I pan the camera. Over here, I used to have some um, cucumber, snow peas, and a verano peach, and none of them did well and that's why you don't see them over here unfortunately the day after i recorded my poor little verano pear actually um the wind snapped it and it died so let's just get into what we have over here um let me give you a close-up here is my ginger that i have growing here and then as you know, I've had lemongrass growing here for a while. And last month I showed you that I planted some ginger and turmeric, which had not started growing yet. But as you can see, if I move the lemongrass out of the way, here are my new ginger plants. They are so beautiful. And then I have my aloe that I've always had over here. And then if you can see down here, the turmeric is growing. I have two beautiful, oh, there's the third one. Right here, the third one is growing. So all three of them are growing now. Okay, so then as you know, I'm gonna walk back here. I have the Moringa and as I told you in the last video the Moringa was bent over and of course Mother Nature has a whole new branch growing out vertically <laughs> that's crazy and then I have my sugar cane growing here and I'm gonna back back up into the house to go over my trees because I have something that I want to show you. Okay, so I have my sapodilla, as I told you last time, I had two growing, so they're getting larger. I have my soursop tree, which I went to grab a stick because you probably can't see it, Okay, let me go over here. Right. Oh, you can't see it because of the light, but I actually have a little soursop growing right there. And you probably can't see it, but I'm happy about that. Then on my mango tree, as I showed you last month, um, all of the new growth that was coming out of my dwarf mango tree, it is much larger now. All of those new leaves came out. Um, there's my mulberry tree back there. My um, star fruit tree here. I ate the two fruits that were on there, so there aren't any fruits right now. There are some flowers, but no fruit. Um, oh, let me get in here to show you on my mulberry tree. So I do have some berries growing here. Right here, and it's not gonna focus. I do have some berries growing there. And then my Barbados cherry tree. I have some flowers on there. Where'd they go? 
Well, there's my Barbados cherry tree. And then let me get into some new things. I got some new pots, as you can see. I bought from this company. Um, they make these pots called torpedo pots and they're supposed to be kind of like a set it and forget it system so basically you have a hose here and this hose and tubing connects to the back of the pots here and it connects through to each pot and on each pot you can control the dial here to um, give as much as you want by turning counterclockwise and then as little as you want by turning clockwise. And it's called Torpedo Pot. I know that this is gonna flip um, backwards when I do um, the video. So let me see if I can do this for you. Okay, so back to the plants. I replanted the orange glow watermelon because I just, I need to know what they taste like. Hopefully that goes well, but we'll let you know as the garden updates come. This is that tomato sucker that I planted. Um, it's a beefsteak tomato that I took off of this tomato plant. And I had, I don't know if you remember that little baby basil that I had, that is going crazy. So I just stuck it in there and see, we'll see what happens. Here we have the okra plant that kind of, I thought wasn't gonna make it. We'll see what happens. This is the burgundy okra. And I planted that in this plat, um, pot with a um, pickle barrel hybrid cucumber and a straight eight cucumber so we'll see how those do in this pot i have the um jambalaya okra which is doing much better than the burgundy okra and i planted a bunch of peppers around it so we have jalapeno banana pepper poblano pepper scotch bonnet pepper and then the regular bell pepper now guys i want to point out to you that these okra plants generally are not doing as well these okra grows really well and you know over a month's time I should have had way more growth and height on these plants, but you know, we'll see what happens. Again, I'm a beginner gardener, so um, we'll see how it goes. We have, I planted some more sweet potato um, in this bag. As you can see, I have another sweet potato here. So let me come around the back and show you on the back row. I have some beets that are starting to grow here so gorgeous i can't wait i hope they do well in this pot guys i'm trying the lettuce thing again so we have here the arugula has already sprouted um i'm not sure because i didn't put i took a picture of how i planted them but there's pretty much arugula um iceberg lettuce some Paris Island lettuce, um, some red velvet lettuce, and I think some bib lettuce. So um, this is one of those varieties and this is one of those varieties. Oh no, just kidding, this is spinach. I, I planted some spinach in this row here. Here are my collard greens, the old ones that I had I planted in here and I did plant some new ones so they haven't come up yet. And then my kale that is growing out of control here. Um, I planted those in here. And I planted some new kale as well. Okay, on this back row, we have... Okay, so guys, some animals have been back here, obviously. My poor little 
watermelon look at this guys look at this something was trying to eat the watermelon so as you know last time I showed you this it wasn't even pollinated yet and it was growing into a nice um, yeah look they knocked down my basil too sometimes squirrels and lizards and whatever come through here and they just have a time back here here is my scotch bonnet growing nicely um, this is supposed to be a bell pepper but the critters, I'm telling you, they love these pepper leaves. Look at my poblano pepper, they love them. And then unfortunately, my poor sugar apple. Look at this. This is heartbreaking to me because the sugar apple takes so long to grow. Even from seed, it takes so long to have its first leaves come out the ground. And look, it's just, getting demolished over here here is the roselle it's also not doing that great something is getting on it but as I told you in the last um, video these are what the Kayla seeds are supposed to grow into and you'd be able to make that sorrel drink that I was telling you that is um, a drink that Jamaicans and Caribbean people usually um, have during the holidays so I'm gonna back out of here and give you kind of like an overview oh let me not leave out my avocado tree that I started from seed and my grapefruit tree um, let me go over here because I have some other stuff I want to show you I took some rosemary like straight out the refrigerator <laughs> and stuck it in oh, let me see and I stuck it in the dirt and it actually looks like it's trying to come back to life so we'll see what that shows I mean what happens there with that next month and then these are just some more sweet potato more sweet potato leaves they they're actually like going crazy here more sweet potato leaves i'm actually gonna cut some of this off and get oh uh, and again look at this uh, i probably need to spray some neem oil on here but yes more sweet potato leaves now guys this is my banana tree my dwarf cavendish banana a new leaf is coming out, come out, out of here. And um, y'all, my banana pup is showing out. Look at it. It is showing out. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And then two, I bought from Sam's Club, y'all. I'm in South Florida. I don't know if like this is a new thing because I've never seen trees in Sam's. But guys, Sam's had fruit trees in there. So I bought this Chicago Hardy fig tree. I've never really had figs before. I'm hoping that this will, you know, be great. But look at this. Look at this. Can you see that? ants I can't man you know the fruits of your labor <laughs> look at this look at this the fruits of your labor I'm telling you is this one any good let me see that one feels ready but I again I've never had figs before so fresh figs anyway anyway guys I added a new tree to the fam again my blueberry plants over here and I think that was all that I have back here so there you have it this is my October update again I hope to have next month be able to show you whether or not that is a soursop. Oh, I can zoom. 
I don't know you see that little bud there but yeah that's what I mean I hope that that is the soursop so next month I expect that to be much larger and that is about it for the garden update so I'm about to go back inside so for completeness I thought I'd show you what I have going on on the inside I don't know what kind of our um, avocado this is but it's kind of like a round um, milder flavor kind of sweeter um, refreshing type of avocado flavor and this one is um, more of a buttery flavor I think this is an avocado that I got from Sam's Club this is my new Royal Verano pear so I'm really hoping that this does well I learned that you can't really put it outside especially here in zone 10b where it's really hot um they don't they don't really do well outside yet um they need a couple months to a year I've heard some people say and these actually I'm hoping that they do germinate these are stark crimson pears um, so hopefully by next month they actually germinate and I have something to show you but for now there's nothing and we've just got pretty much um, the Royal Verano pear uh, showing out so hopefully that actually looks bigger next month too okay guys so that was my garden update as you see or saw um, some of the things did not make it to this month um, but we do have some exciting things. Um, the soursop that looks like it's growing, some lettuce, some watermelon, a bunch of things that I sh I've shown you in the backyard that I'm really excited about. I'm excited about those figs, even though ants and whatever else look like they're trying to take them um one looks ready so i'm going to take that off and see how it tastes um what else you know some things like the the, sh the sugar baby watermelon clearly the squirrels or some other animal tried to eat it but you know that is what happens when you try to grow food right <laughs> The animals are like, ooh, yay. <laughs> but I'm so happy that you guys have joined me on this wonderful Wednesday for my garden update. If you have any tips, if you have any um, ideas about, you know, growing food in your backyard, I am a beginner, as I said. So thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Be blessed and stay healthy.